The Alabama 500 is the second race of the season at Talladega Super Speedway. It is also the final race of the contender round. This means four drivers will be eliminated from the chase for the Spring Cup going into the Eliminator round. There are few races that are more exciting on the entire schedule than this 500 miler. The Alabama 500 at Talladega Super Speedway is 188 laps of white knuckle action as drivers cannot take a second off. It is the biggest track in NASCAR at 2.66 miles and it is banked between 32 and 33 degrees in the corners, 16.5 degrees in the trioval, and 3 degrees down the back straightway. Of course, Talladega is the home of the restrictor plate, which means the cars are riding around in packs for most of the race, which means the big one is always around the corner. Drivers will also be looking for a drafting partner because if you find yourself alone at Talladega, the field will pass you by. Then you add in the fact that this is the last race before the eliminator round and drivers will be going for broke and there will be wrecks at the end of this race. You can count on that. Jeff Gordon won his fourth pole of the season, but he led only eight laps. The win went to Joey Logano, who continued to be on fire as he led 20 laps and won the sixth race of 2015. It was Logano's third win in a row as he swept the contender round races, while he was followed by Dale Earnhardt Jr., who led a race-high 61 laps, Brad Keselowski and Carl Edwards, Danny Hamlin, Earnhardt Jr., Ryan Newman, and Matt Kenseth would be the four drivers eliminated before the eliminator round began. No one was better in the Talladega Fall Race than Dale Earnhardt, who won this race seven times. Next is Earnhardt Jr., who definitely learned something from his father, en route to three wins in this race. While Jamie McMurray and Clint Bowyer are the only active drivers out of a group of six to win this race twice. When betting on NASCAR's Alabama 500, most of the drivers should have a positive sign in front of the odds. For example, odds of plus 900 would mean you bet 100 to win 900. You'd win back a total of $1,000 for a winning bet. That would include your $100 stake and your $900 profit. But you might see an occasional driver that comes with a negative sign, which means they are a favorite to win the race. For example, a line like minus 175 means you would have to wager 175 to win $100 on that driver. When you see a driver with a small number including the ones that go into negatives, that means they're favorite to win the event. The driver with the smallest number on the board is in fact the favorite to win the race. On the flip side, you'll see drivers with numbers that get bigger and bigger in the positives. That simply means that they are underdogs, and as the numbers grow larger, they are deemed to have a smaller chance of winning the event. Leading the way is Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who just made two starts in this race and has an average finish of 6.0. Keselowski is next at 9.0 and 7 starts with a win, while Bowyer is at 10.9 and 10 starts with his two wins. Picking a win at Talladega is as tough as it gets in NASCAR, and it really all depends on who manages to avoid the big one and where the cars are lined up going into the final lap. Go with Keselowski, who won the spring race and led a race-high 46 laps along the way.